All right, here I am, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately. Unfortunately, because I wanted this to work out a little bit different. Let me turn on some lights to see if I can get better lighting in here. But what I had want, originally wanted to intend to happen was I wanted to get the princess to do just a little intro for the video, which would have been um, the second watering today. Like I mentioned in the, the video that I uploaded before this one earlier that um, I did the first watering today. I watered the um, avocado trees and the cassava tree, which the cassava tree, I know I got to water every day now, the cassava root, I mean, and um, I've been trying, I've been trying, I'm not posting that every day because that's just every single day posting that is going to be a little bit, uh, I don't know, a little bit too much. All right, let's get our trusty uh, spout. I'm gonna go ahead and do this all in just one shot, just because I don't feel like uh, doing any editing. I don't feel like doing any, um, I don't feel like doing too much work. I'm just gonna make this nice and simple. It's uh, it's already uh, 16, 1630 hours. So let's go up. Probably a little bit more than we need. I just don't want to spill any on the on the floor. If I do, I'm gonna to have to um, bring out the mop and whatnot. All right, let's put this down here. Unlock the door. All right, here we are. Look at that, great outdoors. Those two vehicles, that you, those two vehicles you see out there, those are that's uh, the queen and the king. Those are their vehicles, not mine. Okay, so don't get confused when you see cars there and say, "Oh, this guy's driving cars." They are absolutely not mine. I don't have a driver's license, and um, my parents are very strict. They they would not let me drive without a license. They are one hundred percent by the books, which is. You know commendable just like my sister laura very commendable for the things that she does uh so yeah those two vehicles right there no access to them what for whatsoever so it's either my chevrolet legs or uh the bicycle that i'm currently using which the back tire is showing a uh, thread it's i mean it's showing the yeah no it's showing the um the metal you know after the uh, rubber starts wearing off. You start seeing uh, parts of metal showing down, showing into the, you know, that start coming out. And eventually, uh, as I'm sure eventually at some point, the tire will probably pop. But until that point, I have no choice but to um, just uh, keep riding it until, I don't know, maybe either somebody, you know, has... A, a generous heart and wants to send a donation to uh to help me fix i do have a second bike that's a really nice bike it's a trek bicycle but um the back tire i've been uh i've replaced the tube in it several times i went to uh Allig alligator cycles which is located right here in pembroke lakes and i replaced the tube approximately like five to six times charging an arm and a leg and uh every time i replace it uh within like a couple of days it, it just goes flat so my theory is inside um inside the the rim there is uh like a little piece of like uh almost like a like a piece of tape that goes around the rim and that tape is supposed to block you know like 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 the spokes that go up into the, that that connect the the spokes get connected to the rim and then that tape is supposed to block so the spokes don't um i i think what what it does is so that the spokes don't um you know protrude into the tube but i think uh at this point uh the, the tape that goes around the um the tape that goes around the rim is either old 
and I think I might just need to get uh, uh, new rims all together. This is a Trek bicycle, which is a really nice bicycle. I got it at a really great price, and it's um it's actually a really nice bike. It's probably probably like, I don't know maybe three four hundred dollar bike or maybe maybe not that much anymore. I don't, I don't know. Bikes do hold their value because certain things that I've, I've learned really do hold their value, especially when they're you know necessities. Uh, here, obviously, in Florida, a car is much more of a necessity, but uh, if you don't have a car, you need at least a bicycle. Um, public transportation, people who take public transportation, if you guys see this and you want to leave a comment about how, about how it really is, please do so. And that way, you can, maybe you guys can share your real experiences and let other people know what it's like because um in Broward County public transportation is it's an embarrassment but it is what it is where we are a car center society um and that's because we choose to be we choose to be a car center society um there was um i remember i think in uh uh the Netherlands there was a city uh, for, for most part in the Netherlands they ride a lot of bicycles and they have uh, they ride the most bicycles in the world but there was one city that they wanted to make it so that uh, it was cars it was car centered but then uh, they realized that they, they started having a lot of um, a lot of traffic accidents and um, they just they, they weren't happy with it so what the people did it was they spoke with their you know the people in charge you know the the politicians or you know whatever the, the people that are are in power and they told them we don't want a car centered city so they literally changed they went from a car cent a center a, a, a car you know a car based city and they were able to change it into a like the rest of the, the Netherlands, which is, you know, bicycle base. So it's not something that cannot be done. It's something that the people want to have done and have to ask their, uh, you know, respective uh, uh, politicians in their area or, or whatever it is, that that's something that they want to be done. But it's not gonna happen here in the States because, um, you know, like I said, our GDP depends a lot on, you know, obviously people spending money and and the car is is a, is a way that uh, makes people spend a lot of money, you know, because you have black oil, which is uh, something that obviously the United States has been involved in a long time, along with the countries and like uh, not just uh, in South America, Venezuela, but it in the Middle East and other countries up like Norway, you know, and even Alaska, they found black oil and a bunch of other places, you know. So uh, as long as those um, those resources can be mined and those resources can, can be exploited and can be um, and it can be something that can be used to um, move our economy and to make our our GDP you know, seem, you know, grow and, you know, make make it so that every day, so that every year it, it looks even better and better. I, I doubt there will ever be a chance that here in the States, we're going to be able to have, um, we're, we're going to have a, cha a change from a, a car centered uh, society towards a, a, a society that's centered more towards you know, people walking, you know, people riding bikes, you know, people t doing healthier things for themselves. Because if you think about it, when you ride cars, it, it, it you know, the traffic, it raises your, um, your levels of stress, your, your levels of possibly anxiety. Um, and also owning cars is something that is, uh, it's an expense it's a very expensive expense you have to uh you know purchase a vehicle you have to purchase insurance you have to um you know purchase gas 
you have to upkeep the car and those are things that and nowadays compared with everything else especially with this super inflation going on right now because of the war because of the um the wuhan virus that passed back in uh 20 um 2020 and up until to, to this day it's just um it, I, possibly won't happen but hey you never know maybe there's some people out there that might maybe one day might want us uh speak up you know it all starts with you really it starts with you as an individual okay so the first step to stay, to take is for you to make an informative choice you as an individual and then from there think about what it is that you really want in life or what or what what it, it is that you really want from your um from your society from your culture and uh and then from there you know strive and 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 do your best to go forward towards it and do it as an individual i mean if you can get uh a group of like-minded individuals that share the same uh thoughts that may work but for the most part it starts with you as a person as an individual but anyways it's getting kind of late uh let's see me oh no i can't see the time and this and this video is already almost uh it's gonna probably about take 20 minutes but no let's try to make it 15. let's water these little babies real quick okay all right so here we got the first baby we took from the the first baby we took from the uh just recently from the that we took recently from the uh, the kitchen. All right, here we got the, this is the one that looks short, but it has about, it almost looks like it's got like four trunks. One is light green, look from the left, it's a brown, then the light green, then the brown and the brown. It looks like it's got four trunks, and that's why it's probably kind of short, but it's got plenty of leaves, as you can see. All right, let's. Okay, and now we're here. This one's a little taller, because it only got, yep, it's only got the one stem. Let's take a look at the leaves from the top. Look at those beautiful leaves. All right, let's do a little bit of water right there. All right, and then this one right here. Oh, and by the way, this is the second watering. I know I did a, a little bit late, but this is uh, this is the other one that we just got from the kitchen, which we planted on uh, August the twenty second. I believe it was it was on a Saturday, and look how much it has grown. If you see the prior videos, like when we first planted it, it really went through a growth spurt. You know, just like uh. It went through a growth bird. All right, let me grab a little bit, just a little bit more water for the, um, for, for the, you know, you know what, let's not. Let's go ahead and just give it the water that we got. All right, so here we got, what is this right here? Let's move this over here. All right, let's take a look around. Right there's where I cut it. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, I don't know what that is. Is it, oh, there's a, that, that leaf right there turned brown. The trunk is still green. Hopefully it'll turn brown soon. And, and, and this trunk right here that's brown, that'll be, probably be the second one I'm gonna cut. But I wanna give it some time. all right so that's our second watering uh i was a little disappointed because uh i wanted uh my princess to uh do the intro i told her it would only take five seconds but it would mean a lot to me because um 
you know i know I, I you know youtube you know i know you guys like to see younger children or uh, that sounded kind of weird I, I mean it's nice it's refreshing to see the, the youth i should say so but with that being said let's go ahead and say bye by looking at the sun All right, everybody, have a good night. Thank you for watching.